a little bit of time off. Sorry about that. I've got a lot of work going on, a lot of really great stuff. Starting a whole new vintage trailer coloring book. Oh, it's really cool. I'm gonna show you guys the first two. Um, and then I'm not gonna show you anymore. That's just the way it goes. I'm gonna show you the first two. Uh, don't ask me again. Don't, don't even ask me. Here's the first one. This is a uh, little wee trailer, taking a little tour, uh, you know, somewhere in New Mexico, something like that. I don't know, it's really New Mexico. Kind of looks like New Mexico. And there's a little tiny gas station, like right there. See, isn't that cool? That's gonna be one of the pages. And then here is a, a Shasta that's being dragged by a Messerschmitt. How's that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. Okay, part of the vintage trailer, you, just pretend I didn't show you. Don't tell anybody that I'm doing this because it's all secret, but it's gonna be cool. I'm very excited about it. Um, got a lot of stuff to do today, but before I, I do that, I want to mention this one thing. I want you to think about this. I want you to think very seriously about this. And if you're offended by um, profanity or anything like that, then just mute me right now. Ready? Three, two, one. No, I'm, I'm not muted. That, I'm, I didn't get muted. I'm, I'm, I'm still talking. I'm still talking. Don't, don't. If you, if you want to hear this, I'm, then I'll say it. What did one old boob say to the other old boob? We better get some support soon, or they're gonna think we're nuts. Okay, let's go to the murky. Good morning, guys. How's everybody doing today? I am back in the Fisker, heading up to the Murphy Auto Museum today, taking this car back. And yes, of course, I'm gonna be swapping it for something really cool way cool. But today is the once a year vintage trailer show that happens at the Murphy. I'm going to show you a bunch of them. We're going to meet a bunch of people and we're basically just going to have fun today doing the camping thing. And as you know, here on Fireball Malibu Vlog, we try to cover car culture in every aspect. Whether there are hoity-toity cars at a Rodeo Drive concourse show or vintage trailers. I'm partial to the trailers. my own business, driving the Fisker, not bothering anybody. And before I knew it, the car drove itself up to Oxnard to the Murphy Museum, which is where I am right now. And there's a vintage trailer show going on, which is tremendously exciting. People have bought their vintage trailers. And the goal was to get to get that, that Cadillac to take back with me because we got some stuff going on this week and I'm, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna be able to take that car. It's got a little, little bit of a battery question, but we'll fix it, we'll work it out. Boys at the Murphy are working it out. But it just goes to show that when you uh, get in your car and you don't pay attention and you, you forget about where you're going or what you're doing, you might end up at someplace cool. The show hasn't started yet. It starts at around 10. I'm hanging out with David and Max. Uh, David's going around making sure all the trailers are functioning properly. And uh, and Max is going around slapping people in the butt, aren't you, Max? Okay. Yeah. yeah. What are you doing, man? Are you getting ready? Always oh, ready. This right here, this guy, master of ceremonies, MC. He got a few other titles. I know. Yeah. So, what is the key to having a good setup? Having a good setup. Yeah. That's the key. Oh, yeah. Good. All right. Advice from the expert. <laughs>
This trailer show here at the Murphy is about to begin. About to go off. People are just kind of getting their stuff ready. Uh, it's pretty cool. Some of them are set up rather relaxed with a little fire pit. Some people are selling certain things. Lots of stuff for sale right there. Uh, it's kind of that pre-show before before the zoo animals kind of show up. Kind of exciting. Don't really know what's going to happen but there's a lot of really cool trailers. A lot of really interesting people like Steve. Hey, how you doing? What are we doing? What is going on today here? Today we're at the Murphy Auto Museum in Oxnard and for our sixth annual vintage trailer show. Six years. Six years we've been doing this now. Right. We've got 41 pieces here this year uh, that are open and uh, can be viewed inside. So we can walk in them. You can walk in them, mm -hmm. you can talk to their owners. A lot of the owners are dressed up in their 50s garb right. or 60s, whatever their trailer is. And you got cool shirts. And we got some great new shirts this year. Yep. And, um, well, we gotta, gotta check out the back. Yeah, there's the back. Go. Yep. Looks good. So, I like well, it. We got a lot of happy campers here. True, the Spartan is probably the mobile mansion of trailers. Uh, you guys, I think, have seen this before. What year is that? 1951. Oh, that's a familiar date. Pretty nice looking. Let's go look inside. Kind of like a uh, gypsy trailer. Kind of a gypsy trailer. Look at this. Look at this. You got the prime spot inside. We're, we're just, uh, just, I don't know how we just, got lucky. Just, this year. <laughs> just hanging out. Yeah. Uh, what's the best part about a show like this for you? Uh, the camaraderie with all the people and talking trailers and yeah. uh, old vehicles and we're trading tips and right. uh, stealing ideas from each other. So uh, we're having a good time. How about you? When somebody comes up and says, oh, my dad had one just uh, like this. Yeah. And it's such good memories yeah. for them. Sure. 47 kit yeah. trailer. Okay. And we're pulling with a 51 Chevy pickup. Nice. Yeah. Nice.
David's chest. Now, are you standing on a crate or like a milk jug or a milk well, crate or something? We come in three levels. Though. Stilts, maybe. You, you're level one. I'm level two, and this is level three, right down there. Okay. Oh, uh, what are we doing here? What, what's going on today? This is our sixth annual vintage trailer show. So we have people from all over California. The furthest travel to this show is actually from El Paso, Texas. That was a trailer boat. Trailer boat. Yeah, that was. Really so cool. this is our sixth year with any of these things. As you know, the more you have them and it's repeatable, then people remember and the the uh, 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 crowd grows and grows. The enthusiasm grows and grows. We sent something out on Facebook this morning. We already have four thousand people looking at it. Wow. And this is our number one show we have all year and it's kind of our signature event so we're happy to do it we have a great turnout today well i think everyone should just come and kind of sleep spend the night stay out if i were people with the trainer i would totally come the night before spend the night take in the free food that an anonymous uh, donor <laughs> pays for right. and just uh, party until about nine o'clock and this lights out well we're going to do that in buellton <laughs> we are yes well thank you <laughs> much for bigger us. in buellton by yeah, the way much bigger yeah. very exciting <laughs> my favorite trailer in the show is a 1961 oh, trailer okay. boat yeah. It just showed up yesterday. Yeah. Very rare. It's like a, it's like a teardrop, but the right. top, the roof is actually a boat. Yeah. So you can sleep in it. You can fish, and if your car runs out of gas and you're near a stream or a, or a brook or a river, you can just jump in it and you can paddle down to get some gas and paddle back. Up. All right. Awesome. Show last weekend on Father's Day. Fantastic. Ken is doing his thing over here. here. Check this also out. Also, we're a society annual Corvette judging event and car show. That's a special one day only event from Saturday, September 15th from 10 to 3 p.m. Not a.m., but p.m. And also the third annual Memorial Car Rally honoring Corey Iverson, Saturday, October 20th, is also coming up.
was an amazing show, incredible show. Big thanks to not only uh, David Neal of the Murphy Auto Museum, but his complete staff. You know, he had a lot of people working there, a bunch of Navy guys all coming in, uh, uh, putting stuff together. Just such a great turnout. And also big thanks to all those that brought the trailers. You made it incredible for everybody.